September 22nd, uh, Tuesday, 2016, and I want to give you a status report in the shop. Um, this is a 3V blanks and also a 1095 Kodiak sword sitting around. Those are going to be my next project um, coming up real quick. Um, also, serial coating of these ETA tomahawks is coming up real soon. And also, the final handle, um, de well, the dehorning or deburring of all these AEBL blades so that they can go s be sent out for heat treat. Um, this is the, the kitchen knife. And then there's an AEBL Megalodon or two in the Karambit. Hungry Possum. Little shifts. Or Combat Sink Sentoku. And then the Rescue Model. The Sheep's Foot Blade. And then the Dire Wolf. And a couple of little Parvis Ultralights. And then the um, Havelina box cutter. And then there's a little mini chef's knife. So those are going to be in my project for next week, maybe this later this week, as I also proceed through the molding of sheaths for Kodiaks, which I have the halves done. Got to get the other half done. And the um, most important thing that's happening right now is finally taking this load of 1095 tomahawks to the heat treater today so we've got all these anubis we got some taipan tama thingies and then a couple of four mega mambas which is kind of a hand and a half same handle as the murder sword the gladius so this is a pretty big mongo uh, evil duty weapon and then the, the Taipan Tama thingy is a one-handed evil thing so and then we've got two of these um, Blue Jay field field daggers which I put the fuller in this these two and I think these are spoken for so then we'll probably try to make some of these slightly modified at a 3V or um, maybe just more 1095. This 1095 Austempered Steel is pretty darn incredible. So I like, I'm going to probably keep on using it. Um, grinding room's kind of messy right now because I was just working on all that uh, 1095 work. But uh, I've also got these um, camp hatchets and ETA tomahawks that are just about ready to have them seracoded and they'll be done real soon. It appears to be a raven dagger that somehow got lost. Um, things are looking up. There's the, the new omnivore, or the first prototype of the omnivore multi-tool. EBL, got two of those, and um, we'll have a double edged or a single edge all the way up through here, kind of a wide one, and then an axe edge up here, and a spatula shovel kind of point on the top. And these are finger grooves so that you can use this area as a draw knife. We'll see how they go. Um, I don't know if I have anything else to tell you right now, but I just have lots of things I'm trying to get done, and uh, namely with these swords and sheaths I have one guy definitely waiting for this one right now so sheaths uh, for Kodiaks is probably the next thing I should tackle along with along with all those AEBO blades and all the 3V blades so there's plenty of work to do all season and hopefully I'll be able to get it done fast enough so I can take a vacation at the end at Halloween time alright um, I'm going to go off to the heat treater now. See you next time.